Welcome home to Trinity San Pedro. As we celebrate our centennial year this year here at Trinity San Pedro, we've taken our theme from the centennial psalm, Psalm 100, verse 5. For the Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever, his faithfulness to all generations. I'm Nathan Hoff, and I've had the privilege of serving as the pastor at Trinity since 2005. The brief all generations eras that we're about to introduce you to in these videos only begin to tell the story of Trinity through six different eras, but each one of them is marked by the enduring love and faithfulness of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you for joining us. The first era of Trinity's life could be called the pioneer era and spans the years 1921 to 1941. But even before Trinity was officially organized in 1921, there was a growing interest and active pioneering energy for the work of establishing the church here in San Pedro. The news pilot, local newspaper, reported under the heading Norwegian Lutheran that the Reverend P.B. Hoff, who has recently been called by the Norwegian Lutheran Church of America to serve as Lutheran pastor at San Pedro and Felza, will conduct services in the Norwegian language at Barton Hill Norwegian Methodist Episcopal Church on 2nd and Mesa, Sunday, October 6th at 4 p.m. Listen to how inclusive they were. Scandinavians are cordially invited to attend. Pastor Hoff at that time would have been what was known as a, a canvassing pastor or planting or pioneering pastor. He was doing home missions work in this area. I talked to a local historian who said they didn't know what Felza was, probably a classic news pilot uh, mistake, typo. The first organizational meeting of the church was held on September 4th, 1920, den Norsk Lutherske Kirke of San Pedro. Pastor Kasberg offered opening thoughts to the group interested in starting a Lutheran church in San Pedro. They were at that time still meeting at Den Norsk Dansk Methodist Kirk on Barton Hill. The second meeting was held on September 26, 1920. The minutes read, quote, Mr. Ramstead moved that the minutes and the Constitution and the bylaws be written in the English language and also that there shall be no hindrances for any nationality to become a member of this church. The congregation was served by a variety of local pastors and guests. The Ladies' Aid and Luther League, or Youth Ministry, also established and were supportive in the growth of the young congregation. It wasn't until February 26, 1934, that the news pilot reported that the Reverend O.J. Edwards had accepted a call to serve Trinity. This would be the first called pastor of Trinity and almost 15 years after they established their constitution. He came from First Lutheran in Tacoma, Washington and had been instrumental in building up educational institutions within the Lutheran Church around Puget Sound. Could have been Pacific Lutheran University as we know it now. His son was a professor of music in Fullerton and would often sing for the small congregation in San Pedro. The next day, February 27, 1934, the news pilot reported that Trinity was planning to build their first church building on 9th and Grand on San Pedro. By April, the congregation had decided instead to build on 10th and Alma, a Five Corners intersection. During Pastor Edwards' years, services were held at the newly built chapel on 10th and Alma, and at the Trinity Seamen's Mission near 8th and Palos Verdes Avenue in the evening. The Norwegian language was no longer used in worship by 1937. In many ways, these early building pioneering years held a tension between morning and evening, between neighborhood parish and outreach to the port. Were we called to be a Northern European ethnically identified society? or a new church in the new land? Were we Norwegians or Norwegian Americans or Americans? Pastor Edwards and to some degree his successor, Reverend Dr. Melvin Andrews, were able to hold both of these tensions. 
for a while.